Staples, the vintage flea market in Folsom is kicking off with plenty of goodies. Sabrina Silva joins us live and is on the hunt for a new piece uh, to put in her apartment. Yes, and this is the perfect place for to do just that. And actually, this place is teaching me so much on what to do with furniture that I already have. Like this. This is a crib. It's a crib that they turned into a cute little couch, and I absolutely love that. So we're getting creative this morning as well here in Folsom. And there's a lot of goodies. We have someone who's already counting down till Christmas. What's going on over here? You already have all of these elves. You, what is the Santa Claus? It's not even Halloween yet. I know, but hey, Christmas, people do it year-round now. Yes. So this is the place that they need to come out and already start prepping for the holidays, huh? Yes. Oh, oh wow. yes. This is the Joe Spencer line. <laughs> so, and I had the Joe Spencer Halloween inside. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, yes, I did. I did it in there. And that yes. little, yes. Yes. Because you know what, folks, even though they are setting up all of these scents out here, there is an area, there's a garage actually right over here that opens every Saturday and Sunday. So today is not the only day that you can come out and find out some cool stuff. But you know what, this area too, I talked about this stove, and I do want folks to take a look at it because I said this is my favorite piece. I'm a cook, I love it, and I have never seen anything like this, so I bet this is really, really old. So how, how old do you think this is? Well, they used stoves like this around even the turn of the century on up into my grandmother was even still using one in the 40s. Wow. So, but this has been my mother's for the last 30 years, and she just used it as a decorative piece. But yeah. um, she loved it, and it was beautiful, and it's a beautiful and great shape and something really special. Yeah, no, I, I really liked it. I thought this was really cool. But I wanted to come over here, too, because I've been talking about creativity, and that's one thing that I want to do in my apartment. As much as I want some furniture, I also want to jazz it up. And why not do it with creativity? I mean, what did you do over here? You took windows and doors, and yeah. you turned them into art pieces. Yeah, these are um, over 100-year-old windows off of a house down... I think it was X Street down in Sacramento. I got them from the lady down there. And then I apply the transfers to them and they're, they become window art. That is so cool. Now you also have a little greenhouse in there that I saw. So where did the idea come out, come from? And I know we only have a short little time, but I, just, why do I like repurposing. I hate throwing things away. Yeah. I like turning old things into something new and exciting. So. This is um, a perfect opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, definitely for some accents in my apartment. I'll toss it back to you, lovely ladies in the studio. Thank you very much. You want to be invited to your apartment, too, girl. We'll get on that. Okay. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> jazz it up. Okay. <laughs>